Hey there guys and welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. My name's Tori Favreau and thank you so much for joining the show. On this special episode, we've got built from all over the world by members of the Amazing Brick Network. Make sure if you haven't done this already, that you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And please leave a comment because I'm sure these builders would be super keen to know what you think of their builds. We've got some interesting news that I'll be dealing with shortly, but let you know what? There isn't that much to say today other than, as you know, let's get on with that show. So guys, I'd love for you to all be a part of the show. I'm looking to interview creators on up upcoming episodes of the Amazing Brick Network. You need to be 18 or older and just be comfortable being on camera. I'll be conducting these interviews via Skype or Zoom and they will be recorded and we already have a couple of people who have put their hands up for this. I'm super excited, but I cannot wait to see what you guys have to offer. Meanwhile, in Lego news, um, this set was released in China, the Spring Lantern Festival. It looks utterly amazing. I really do hope it hits the Western market. I don't know if it's a Chinese exclusive. If it is, they're extremely lucky. But I certainly love, love, love the level of detail. Even the special light brick inside the bull, it looks nothing short of awesome. In the meantime, we do have some retail news here. There's been a lot of trading and stuff going on in this particular set, especially on our amazing Lego marketplace. Now, this has been moved from the Amazon exclusive that it was to the lego.com website. This is only available for our US friends. So if you were after this set and you had missed out and you didn't want to pay the amount that some people were charging for it, I strongly suggest that you do hop onto lego.com if it's still there and jump on. This news is less than a day old. I believe. So I'm certainly hoping to give you guys as much of a heads up as I possibly can. It does look pretty cool. You know, just that little diorama there with, um, you know, Taskmaster and of course Black Widow. Um, I do like the build. It is a real shame. As soon as I heard the news, I did go to the Australian website, but there is nothing there because it's not going to come out here, unfortunately. Back to the Chinese releases. The story of Nian, Lego set 80106. Another great looking set. I absolutely love that Chinese dragon. I think it looks nothing short of amazing. The minifigures are cool as hell as well. But with all the fireworks and everything going off, this is just a set that I do think would be another fun one to have. Certainly well worth adding to the collection. So if you can get this set in your hands, please attempt to do so because it's nothing short of incredible. Guys, if you do have time, please subscribe to the show. It does mean the world to me, and it does give you the chance also to stay on top of when there is going to be a new show out. Don't mind me. That's just really bad Photoshop. From our friend Mockingbird, this is on the LEGO Ideas site, so be sure to give it your support. What a beautiful under-modular scene. So if you've ever thought, oh, my modulars are looking a little bit flat, a little bit the samey, this actually allows you to have all this separate play area that clips simply to the bottom of the modular building. It's so innovative. I was super stoked when Mockingbird put this out, and I really, really thank him for making this available to everyone when you did post it. So be sure to put your support behind your reading eyes, hop onto the Lego Ideas site and be sure to give this a vote because I think the level of play will certainly lend itself and help greatly expand the modular building setup that currently takes place today. Something I do like about this too, that you could easily incorporate an underground rail subway system and just let that really make your modulus shine. <laughs> Vigella sent this through. I love this. Millennium Falcon. Santa. This thing is crazy, mate. I, I don't even know how you thought of this in the first place, let alone constructed it. It's utterly beautiful. You know what both of the builds are. It's such a perfect take on Santa Claus. It just made me so happy seeing this. So thank you very, very much. <laughs> Russell, thank you for posting this. I had no idea that Bricklink, you can find them at bricklink.com, actually do their own um, AFOL, adult fan of Lego sets, that can be voted upon. They've got little set numbers, and they do arrive to you using real Lego bricks, uh, but you get them as a set with instructions, and it's a perfect outlet for people who may not have been aware of this, myself included. So there's a beautiful castle set there. 
these are really well realized. I did my research afterwards, and um, I'm a really big fan. There's about 20-odd sets from Bricklink at the moment, and it's certainly well worth looking into if you have a theme that you certainly wish to expand upon. It's fantastic. Following us is easy. Pause this. This is how you do get in touch with the amazing Brick Network. Andrea Caboni, thank you for sending this through, my friend. This is beautiful. Check out the amount of detail on this, guys. It's crowded and populated, but at the same time sparse. The use of the water effects here is certainly nothing short of sensational. That overhead view just gives you an idea of just how much work has been put into this. It's utterly beautiful. Thank you. Keith sent this through. This is an Apocalypse Modular series. These are modulars that you've seen before, but not in the way that Keith has put them together. They're nothing short of incredible. I would love to see them populated with like your undead or your horror-based minifigures because I have, I have, I'm gobsmacked. I have not seen a set done in this fashion in such a convincing way. The level of detail and the lack thereof is beautiful. I wonder if inside those buildings, though, is there stuff to look at or is it all caved in? I don't know and I almost don't care. These are utterly wonderful. Ben, thanks for shooting through your church here. This is a beautiful little build, packed filled with detail. You certainly can't argue any of the detail here. Vine work, you've got different bricks adding texture. Beautiful roofing done. You've got the stained glass as well. This is fantastic, mate, and I really appreciate you making it and then sharing it with the group. I'm sure it's going to get a lot of people's heads turning and certainly provide inspiration for many builds to come. Thank you once again. Kate, this just looks gorgeous. You've got a beautiful layout here. I appreciate the way that you've done it. The fact that you've got multiple levels also gives it a bit of fun and excitement. You can see the minifigures having stacks of fun as well. You all know I love a very populated uh, Lego city, and I love that as well. The Hogwarts Express, um, it's just brilliant. And I do love the fact that there's several Emmets all trying to put stuff together. Martin, thank you for sending this through. This is a beautiful building, mate. Um, the cake shop here that you've done. Filled with detail. It's certainly a place that your minifigures would love to explore. And I do really appreciate the fact that you fully realize the inside of the building. It's never an easy task and you've done it admirably. I'm sure that many of our viewers will love this as well. Thank you. <music> Sherry, thank you for sending this through. I love this. It was just, it looks as though the skeleton is actually stumbling out of that closet. And the Frankenstein picture in the background, utterly hilarious. And you fully realize it here with a lot more detail and more figures. I really appreciate this. Keep sharing with the group because this is beautiful and I adore it. NK Custom Brick sent through this picture. I love the old-fashioned railway that you've got going on there with the little guys pumping along to get along the track. Wonderful. Todd sent this through, the Wheeling and Lake Erie 112. Now, this is a beautiful brick-built train. I love the level of detail that you've done there. I love the fact that you've gone to the trouble of getting like your stickers and everything done for it. It looks utterly fantastic. And I have actually researched this uh, train. You've nailed it. So keep it coming. I would love to see some of the cars for this. Caitlin, the absolutely bananas dream house train made me laugh, made me smile. Please, I'd love to see this on a track. Stefan, this is awesome. So we do have the Siemens class. Hopefully you look back there because I was too busy staring at how good the build was. We do have a comparison here though. You've done such a good job of this. Um, you've nailed all the major details. I certainly appreciate what you have done here. The, it's a beautiful build and I want to see more of these. Please keep them coming. Jackson, I love what you've done here. This looks fantastic, and I'm so pleased that you could share it with the group. As always, it's just loads of fun. PC, thank you for sending this through. 
I love what you share with the group, some of the sets that you're sharing, and the way you've got them laid out. It looks like it's in a bookcase, but it is fantastic. And the way that you've done this, it certainly lends itself to these beautiful layouts. It makes the colors pop. It must be a lot of fun looking at them in your home, and I do appreciate it. So please do keep them coming and making sure you let the group know. So Samarth sent this through, any way to restore the clutch power on flag clips? And that's a good question because sometimes they do weaken over time. However, you guys, as always, come to the rescue with great answers. And here, Jan did say, um, make sure you apply heat, um, no direct flame. And, you know, it does liquefy above 90 degrees. And uh, I was just really stoked that someone did reach out and provide such a good answer. And it certainly fixed the problem. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me, and the things that you do with your Lego constantly blows my mind. It's my honor and privilege to be able to present the show for everyone else to see your magnificent builds. So till next time, keep smiling, look after each other and yourselves, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, and most of all, happy building. Take care. Bye-bye.